Bayonetta. As that voice said, today we're going to be playing Bayonetta. Uh, it's an M-rated game, so if you're uncomfortable with that kind of content, you may want to check out Mary Party 10 that I play along with Michael. Um, otherwise, feel free to watch. So this is my first time trying out Bayonetta. Uh, I picked up Bayonetta 2, so it comes with a with a free copy of Bayonetta 1 with it, which is pretty cool. Um, it was originally released on the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. It didn't make it to any of Nintendo's consoles until now, as far as I know. So this should be pretty fun. Uh, it has some over-the-top violence and stuff like that, but the graphics and the whole battle system look really neat and fun. So it should be a very interesting journey. And the visuals look really nice on the Wii U, I gotta say. And it looks like we're falling down from a tower. With a lot of what I believe is Bayonetta's version of angels. From the records of time, there once existed two they kind of look like crazy birds. The darkness and the looming sages, controllers of the light. The clans paid each other great respect in their efforts to maintain the balance of the world. passage. Yet one day, that uh -oh. was toppled. Balance was toppled? Just like this clock tower? Huh? Okay, that one was a bad one. So it's actually letting you just run around and fight during this little, like, intro cutscene thing. It doesn't appear like there's any health or anything, but that's fine. Assassination and casualty. It was true. Despite the tremendous radiance of God shining upon them, the Lumen Sages were gradually weakened by the assault of the secretive dark witches. From my understanding, I am part of the Umbra witches. I am definitely not controlling this crazy madness right now. But it looked cool. All of the Emperor of Witches are gone. Am I the last one? Because that could be a thing. Just saying, that didn't look very good for them. So, so far everything looks kind of over the top in terms of the battle. Um, bodies were kind of exploding a little bit. 
lots of kind of craziness going on. I'm playing using the Wii U Pro Controller and it is rumbling like crazy right now. Am I the lady in red? Okay. Oh, they are going all crazy. Is that angels coming out of them? Or whatever those things are? Oh yeah, that was kind of creepy. Change costume. Okay. And we're on the prologue, the vestibule. So let's just save here. And let's get this show on the road. Okay, start. Kind of looks like little DNA strands or something with the way those letters are all going or symbols, whatever they happen to be. Oh, whoa, I could move that around. And we are entering a graveyard. This seems incredibly appropriate. Developed by Team Little Angels. <laughs> that is an interesting way of introducing your credits. Pretty neat. Of course, it's a nice rainy day because why else would you uh, be in a graveyard unless it was raining? You know, I still don't get why the hell you drag me out here for these things. I just drop off the merchandise. Hey, bet you can't guess what today is. Reading the good Lord's book ain't gonna do much. People have been waiting for this asshole to get whacked for ages. Please. Now, look around. There's no love lost for old Humpty Dumpty. But you gotta keep the outfit happy. We don't take care of him, they take care of us. And I prefer my shoes made out of rubber, not concrete. But hey, it's that kind of town. Without good-hearted souls like us to put these bastards six feet under, where'd society be? Of course, the pay's not bad either. <laughs> Jesus, you really get into it, don't you? If it were me, I'd be praying he ends up barbecue. Or at least sunny side up. <laughs> <laughs> the detail on the characters is pretty nice. But the only way this guy's meeting the Lord is if God's hungry for breakfast. <laughs> Speaking of hungry, we, we don't hear. My kids are baking me a birthday cake tonight. Cute little fuckers, I tell you. you well then, adios. What the fuck? They're here? For this douchebag? Ah! I hate this damn light! I can't see a thing! Oh! But they're there, ain't they? You hearing me? You, you can see them, can't you? I see them. They are instruments of God, descending upon his heavenly rays to earth. Oh my god! Dear Lord, 
Grant us guidance, and keep safe the souls of our loved ones for all eternity. Ooh, some magic's going down. And there's more of those angelly things. And that guy's not sure what's going on at all. Third sphere, affinity angels. Apparently, I don't like them very much. You look tired. Let me tuck you in. That guy is not having a good birthday. Just gonna put that out there. Next time you want me hands on you, you better make sure I'm dead. Now move out the way. If it ain't my good buddy Enzo, how about you get out of here? Looks like that guy has some kind of magic going on. Okie dokie. That seemed like a little over the top for a costume change. Part of the battle system is that you have uh, weapons equipped to your feet as well as your hands. So you get to use both your legs and your arms to do battle with stuff. Which is pretty neat. Well, that looked like a home run. No more shots from me, Bayonetta. As long as there's music, I'll keep on dancing. Okay. 
Okay, so I guess there's also touch controls for this game if you want to use the gamepad. Um, I've heard a few reviewers not dig them so much, claiming that, you know, why would any able-bodied person ever use them, was one quote. So, I'm just going to use my Pro Controller and that sounds pretty good to me. Okay, so... Quick punch with X. Bam. And A for a kick. A and then oh X and A to unleash countless combos. So I guess there's all kinds of ones on the, the list on the side. So that's kind of neat. I guess the game's very strong about comboing. And I guess there's this thing called Witch Time, in which you could slow time down by dodging. No, oh, I did not do that properly. Okay. There we go. So now you're in Witch Time and it slows things down for a little bit. So you can start hammering down a lot of combos and stuff like that. From my understanding. And I guess we get to do some uh, attacking now. Halo, a very rare spiritual metal containing the essence of an angel's life force used in business transactions with Inferno. I don't know who Inferno is yet, but I'm sure we'll get there. I'll collect the halos. I guess they must be the currency in the game. I'm not sure what kind of cool stuff you could buy yet, but I'm sure we'll be there at that point soon enough and we'll get to find out some cool stuff. All right. Oh, another little the tutorial is kind of neat so far. Okay, so fire away mid combo by, okay. Oh wow, that was kind of cool. All right, so you can fire with your hands and your feet. So rotate L and press X or A to activate bullet climax. That sounds so dirty. And those little heads are really freaking creepy looking. Well, shooting with your feet's kind of fun. Okay, <laughs> we're probably good. Probably better if we actually progress the story instead of just watching me shoot in the tutorial. <laughs> I 
understanding the game isn't super long. I was reading somewhere online that Bayonetta 2 is about 10 hours of gameplay. If you don't go and start going completionist or anything like that. Um, I'm not sure about the first one though. One of the worst, I don't know, I'm not very good at dodging in games a lot of the time. So we'll see how this whole witch time thing goes. Oh, I'm okay. Okay, so we beat all those big baddies, and now there's a really big baddie that came out to play. Okay, so B to jump. Ooh, I have butterfly wings. And whoever's car that is is not gonna like me very much right now. Okay, so it was his car. I don't think he's very happy right now. But that's okay. Haven't you figured it out yet? There's no for you in this world. I gotta like hover. That's kind of cool. that kind of face. That is the only way to kill things. With your feet. In this shit. His car is not doing so well. Purrs nicely. Now, about this little thing you've been looking into for me, Enzo. Let's have a quick chat. See, see, this is why I told you I was going home. I just got held up in the air by some invisible things, and you want an intelligence briefing? It never stops with you. With you. You keep belly aching like that, and you're liable to wake Eggman from the dead. And I don't think either of you would like that. Uh. Catch you later, Bayonetta. Something tells me you're gonna need a rush on our special project before this shit hits the fan. Wait, Rodan. What, what about Eggman? Such a popular chap. I bet they hate him down there as much as you did when he was up here. We just need to make sure he won't come crawling back when they kick him out. Nothing a flower bed can't fix. Fill her up. You heard the man. Finish up in five minutes or you'll be home to your cake and candles. What? Don't you leave me here? <laughs> well, that's nice. Poor guy's birthday, and you're just like. Yeah. 
That's kind of neat how they have that set up. first choice. I see to the funeral. You get me the information I asked for. That was our deal. <laughs> Come on now. Look at my poor car. I'm working for free after this. At least let me get a drink at Rodan's before you start drilling me. Mm. All I got is good. It's, it's gonna be close to finding the other stone in the pair. And figuring out some of that lost past of yours. I swear. <laughs> After two days, just like a girl. <laughs> Jesus, can't you take a joke? Enzo, someone's given you a present. Too bad. I can't stand bugs. Huh. So the poor guy was bugged. And it looked like they almost had a tail. What the fuck? And now there's a plane. I think the art style they went with with the whole like filmography kind of thing. It's kind of interesting and fun. Somebody else is killing the angels. I think we're just gonna leave it off right here for now and tune in next time to see how this crazy battle royale goes with the plane and all the crazy angels that came with it and this new mysterious stranger we find out who it is so thanks for watching guys have a great day bye